Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and um, I'm going to do an Idiot Abroad. I've been super excited to check this out. Um, only concern I have is to copyright things. I looked up a few people on how they do it. Some people fade it out, all that jazz, but I might just put mine in two parts so I don't have to go through all like the fading and all that jazz. Um, but if not, we'll see. We'll figure something up to, ch to try to get it up without um, it being blocked through copyright. All right, guys, uh, please see put comments below. Um, all your comments is, that's what makes the channel. Your comments are what we react to. And if uh, you subscribe, we check out those comments first. All right. So let's jump into it. The seven wonders of the world. Christ the Redeemer. The Taj Mahal. The Great Pyramids. Truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Carl it's like a pylon. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know the politically correct term. Moron, I think. He is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like <laughs> moron. Buffoon. Idiot. Is that normal? And he's a friend. Oh. We've often described him as being like some kind of real-life Homer Simpson. Homer is small-minded, petty, but at, at his core, a good person. And lovable. Absolutely lovable. It's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. I can't get enough of him. Is everyone going to be wearing this? He's a typical little Englander, and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Bollocks are squashed. I just think <laughs> it'd be amazing to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. <laughs> I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. <laughs> I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. <laughs> Nothing is funnier Ricky's cold -blooded. than Carl <laughs> in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic of Sky behind me. <laughs> this is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Ah! Let me go oh, Jesus Christ. All right? Yeah. I'm all right, yeah. What have you been doing today? Just hanging around. You look nervous. You look uneasy. Oh, I am a bit, yeah. It's not normal, is it? What? What is it? You're asking me how my day is, and I'm a room full of people who I don't know. Yeah? Well, you're going to get to know them. You're going to get to know them really well. What? Everywhere I go, these lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to. They've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself, and we wouldn't see it on the telly. <laughs> right, Carl. I'm very jealous of your trip here, Carl, to the mighty Great Wall of China. Well, you say that, but how come I'm going and you're not doing any? Well, because um, we're executive producers. Yeah, we're busy. We've got other stuff going on. Mm. See, out of all the places, this is the place that I'm worried about the most. Why? Just the way they live. They're different. What, Chinese people? They just wreck everything. They, they make everything weird. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> to you. On this. I don't to you. What you mean. Everything. Chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> Just the slightest thing, the chicken is orange. <laughs> Eat anything. You know what I mean? Octopus. Toad. <laughs> you just made that one up. No, say, say if I go over there, I have a bit of toad. I go, do you know what? Quite nice, that. It's nicer than chicken. Yeah. It's going to be pretty tough to get a bit of grilled toad yeah. in this country. It could make me sort of wish for stuff that I can no longer get hold of. Have you been listening to what he's been saying there? Yeah. That he's scared to go to China in case he gets a taste for toad. toad. And then he comes back and he can't get toad. So I just wanted to check that you heard that. Yeah. No, here's the deal. I agree with that. Like, that's why, like, I don't experiment a lot, especially if it's something you can't easily get access to. Yeah, it'll make you, like, get, like I get experience new things, but I, I, I get that. Getting, like, super, like, like, I love chicken. I can't imagine going somewhere and trying chicken and there's not chicken here. That would drive me crazy. The way they write... The, the letters are weird. Their alphabet's not like ours. Theirs are like, like someone testing out a biro. Everything's... <laughs> there's, there's no logic to anything that they do. <laughs> there is! Of course there's changed. a logic to it! The way they read a book, it's all the other way around. From back to front, instead of from front to back and up and down. And Everything that we've done, they've gone, right, we're going to do it weirder. 
That's how it comes across. Well, some would say that they did it first. Their civilization <laughs> beat ours by by many, many hundreds of years. But anyway, right. <laughs> He's like, I'm not buying it. Right. Jesus Christ, go! <laughs> Just his face, man. <laughs> It's gonna make it weirder. Oh God, bless him. Oh man. Wish I could get in that guy's mind. Bit grey, isn't it? Is today a cloudy day or is this pollution? It's not worth having this in HD, is it? Nothing looks crisp. <laughs> Looking sort of hazy. Like a bush video or something. Oh my God. <laughs> Can anyone speak English? Does he want to give us a lift? English? Do you want to give us a ride? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it's just crazy I get what he's saying. That's why it's so funny to me about it being like hazy. That's how I feel when I like get like a HD movie that was like shot in like the 70s or 80s. Or the 80s. Everything looks foggy. Like everything looks all hazed out. Like was pollution this bad? Jesus. All right, doesn't seem to work when you smile at people. Nothing, nothing, blank. So I don't know if smiling means smiling here. I mean, if they don't understand my language and they don't understand my expressions, I don't know what I've got to communicate with. All right, nothing, nothing, I've got nothing then. I don't think I've ever felt this lost, even in Wales. See what I mean here, though, about things not being normal? You know, I get off a plane all sort of achy and that, jet lagged. I thought, I know, I'll have a massage, that'll be nice. Massage? Hi. I'm never gonna get to where I'm going, I haven't been to bed yet. It is nice though, to be fair. That isn't, that isn't good. Chanel. <laughs> 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 I mean, what was that a massage? I don't know. Or was I just being mugged? <laughs> 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 oh god dude. Well, I'm just trying to find the hotel that Ricky and Steve has sorted out for me. Um I'm not expecting that much, if I'm honest with you. I've got a room, Pilkington. Nice. It's compact, isn't it? Yes. It's cozy. Feels Chinesey. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Those slippers, they're mine. It's mm -hmm. Chinesey. Quite Chinese, aren't they? Behind the cloth you have a TV. Any English? No, only Chinese. Okay. Thanks, Ta. I like this touch. Suzanne wants a fish, so I'll have to let her know that I've got a couple. I mean, that is for sort of company, isn't it? It's not, a, it's not some sort of appetizer, that, is it? That's handy. You know, I said that Chinese always come up with inventions, They're quite futuristic with their ideas. It's all right, isn't it? Little radio with headlights. I don't know when you'd need that. I mean, the, the whole beauty of radio is, you know, you can listen to it in the dark. I mean, if that was on the Dragon's Den, you'd, you'd say, I'm out, wouldn't you? <laughs> I like an emergency a, radio. wander about, I think, because there's nothing else to do, so I might as well, you know, at least try and see a bit of the place, mix with the locals. Um, you know, that's what Ricky and Steve want, innit? They want, they want to see how I can handle myself with some foreigners. Carl. Cat. Carl. 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 Yeah. L. Carl. 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 Not Carla. Just Carl. Carl. Oh, Carl. Carl. Yeah. Carl. 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 No. 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 Carl. Carl. You don't need to add. Like this, your country, the Shash Shashbia. Shashbia. You mean Shashbia? Shashbia. Shakespeare. Yeah. Chinese Shakespeare. 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 It's just breaking it up a little bit. Carl. I'm Carl. Carl. It's not Carl. It's Carl. It's not Carl. Yeah, it smells more Chinese now, doesn't it? Oh my god. Sweet and sour. How does something smell Chinese? Chinese, you can smell sweet and sour. Are they That's dead? Great. Are they toads? So I don't get it. Are they alive in that bag? Why aren't they legging it? 
He's got, like, a Sainsbury's bag full of toads. He rips them out, cuts their head off, sticks them in another bin bag. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it looks like a load of condoms in jam and water or something. <laughs> I mean, it, it's weird how he's got it sat there as if that's meant to tempt you in. <laughs> well, the idea was, you know, that I'd, I'd nip out and get a little snack, because Ricky and Steve said, yeah, try everything out, you know, do what the locals do, but there's no way I'm eating this stuff. <laughs> It looks like they've got custard creams on the stick as well at the end. Just anything on a stick. Whatever you want on a stick. Portability. I, I just don't understand why they're eating all this. I mean, at home, restaurants will get closed down for having a cockroach in the kitchen. Yet, yeah, here, it's a starter. I didn't know it'd be like this. I didn't think it'd be this mental, really, in the food department. <laughs> There's a woman over there just tucking in on a... Bunch of scorpions. Look at her, like she's just having like a bit of a chicken leg. Not a problem. Just just shoving them in the face. She looks at it before she puts it in her mouth, like, oh yeah, which bit will I have first? The head or the arse? <laughs> I mean, as she's eating one off one stick, she's looking at the other stick. She can't get enough of them. Her eyes, it's like the donuts to her. She's looking at them, she's going, oh, look at that one there, that one looks nice. You see, I don't know where it stops. Where's the line between food and insect? If she gets up in the morning, there's a spider in the bath. What does she do? Oh, good, I'll leave the croissant for tomorrow. I'll eat that now. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Oh, God. What sort of egg is that? Sure, it's a fetus. Inside an egg. A fetus? I don't know why, any. Just for people watching you don't know, he's with us you know, helping drive the bus and what have you. He seems like a normal bloke. I mean, eating a fetus. Not even <laughs> waiting for the thing to be born and to live a bit and then eat it. <laughs> oh, my God! Only been here for a bit. I'm running out of these. I've got three more packets left. Well, you know, the weird thing is, I'm, I'm the freak here, aren't I? Everyone else is eating that. I'm eating these. He's so sad that he's... <laughs> Oh, he's, I thought he was a normal bloke. Like, I thought he was cool, man. This guy's weird, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm with you, Carl. Man. I can't eat any of that stuff either, but... I'm the odd one out. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I had my name done. That says Carl. Could be that way. Could be that way. I don't know. It's one or the other. Could be that way. Let's face it. I don't know. Could be anyway. I'm sure if you you know if you're Chinese and you're watching this, you know if I've got it the right way up. Well, there you go. That's that says Carl. I mean, I haven't got Susanna gift yet. I could just give her this and say, yeah, it says Suzanne that. <laughs> she wouldn't know. That's so true. She wouldn't. <laughs> Kind of people get like the Asian tattoos in their arm. The great no one knew know what it says yeah. for sure. One of the wonders of the world, but I'm I'm just not in the mood. Honestly. Oh. I'm still knackered. I'm still jet lagged. And just just the weirdness of China, that tires you out on its own. It's out there. It's like one o'clock in the morning at home. Oh, I've got a message. Hello, Carl mate, it's Stephen here. Um Listen, I've uh, got a little treat arranged for you today. I know that you're fascinated by the strange, the weird, the esoteric, and obviously one of the big parts of Chinese culture is fortune telling. Um, so we've arranged for you to go and see a fortune teller, get some predictions about your future, my friend. All right, enjoy. Do people really believe that here? I mean, are, are people taking kids in and saying to him, right, here's my kid, What's his future going to be like? Because if his life is going to be a load of shite anyway, end it, do him a favour. But then it doesn't always work like that. That's what I mean with fate. I didn't do that well at school. I left with a an E in history. So say if my dad knew that, he'd go, right, get the brick, and that'd be the end of it. Whereas, <laughs> oh, I've done all right. I've got, I've got a job and paying me way in life. <laughs> right, get the brick. <laughs> I've got a bit of a problem with this. A mate has sent me here to have this done. Oh, I'm not happy about it, really. I sort of think <laughs> I'm better off not knowing. 
If something's bad's gonna <laughs> happen, I prefer it just to happen without having a warning. <laughs> time, time I was born. A palm pilot, I didn't expect him to have a palm pilot. Like futuristic. Do you know who Bruce Springsteen is? He's got the same birth date as me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm concentrating on calculating your future. All right. <sighs> you have to pay attention to your health because you got some sort of heart problem. Oh, here we go. What sort of heart problem? Something to do with your heart, blood vessel. It's weird that, because my dad had a problem with his heart, and they say it runs in the family. So is it going to kill me then? 90%. 90 percent. 90 percent? Jesus Christ, that was terrible to say. <laughs> <laughs> the raw knowledge. Maybe we can change it. Although you have some health problem, we're going to do a ceremony for you. But you do need to write a confession about what you did wrong. Something I did wrong. Something I did wrong in the past. Mm. Good one. Please you read it out loud. To write three confession on the three pieces of paper. All right. When I lived in the other flat, there was a fellow who used to live in it called Bruce, and he used to get his post, and I'd open it. It was his old flat. I kept getting posts for him years after he'd moved out. See, it's meant to be bad, that, isn't it? Carl Grimshaw, I put putty in his hair, and he had to have his head shaved. That's a bit tight, wasn't it? And he had a funny shaped head, so it looked really bad. I'll put that down. Carl Grimshaw for, for put, putting putty. And he's uh, I've worked <coughs> at this bloke's shop called Bob. I was his best paper boy. So I'd collate all my papers, get them all, get them all ready, stick them in my bag. When he wasn't looking, I'd just sort of take a Mars bar, slip it up my sleeve, off I go. So every day, seven a week for about two years. A lot of Mars bars, I know that, that's why it's on air. <laughs> it's always been playing on my mind, that. Because I've since found out that shop doesn't make that much money from delivering papers. Oh, yeah. I love... That shows he's a good person, though, man. He did such... Like, being a kid and still in a Mars bar or opening somebody's, like, uh, mail that got sent to your house. Um, or somebody, like, sticking something in somebody's hair saying they get a haircut. Like, there's people who do way worse stuff than that, you know what I mean? So he's a good guy, man. That, that little bit of those small things bother him. Those, like, the worst things he could think of to put on the list. That was good. That was, Dude's funny. And if you ever had, I've had like fortune stuff. It just makes you uneasy when it's so close. Even if you don't believe in stuff, when it's just so close to what you are, it's, it makes you uneasy. So I'll be uneasy too. This is a healing process. Now everything gonna be fine. The other two papers, one needs to be put on top of a mountain. The other one needs to be put in the sea. It will help you to cleanse your soul. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Mm. You get up a, how are you going to go to a mountain? Mm. Jesus Christ. Uh, just, just give us a second. Just give us a sec. You are kidding me. Have you seen this? Have you seen the things? There's no doors or anything. As soon as you open the door, you could just get a full view of someone. <laughs> I mean, if it was here, it's more understandable, isn't it? Because you'd be sat here, and at least people come in, and you'd go, sort of go, I'm in this one. But it's a bit weird to just sort of wander in and... I mean, they've made this bit. Why not just finish it off and put a door on it? <laughs> they've done the hard bit. A couple of hinges and a door. <laughs> and there's no toilet paper. His mind is blown. What did he do here? Jesus did he just pull up his hands and walk off? Is that, is, that, is that what you do? I'm, I'm not here to say they should be using toilet paper. It's not right. If that's not what they do, that's not what they do. But it's just, I didn't know that. I didn't think China was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be more... Like I said, I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't a place where they need an iPod. Have a toilet roll first. 
I mean, it's weird, because whenever you buy stuff like that, all the raw workers and stuff, it says, made in China. Why are they fucking using them, then? <laughs> That's odd, isn't it? So he's got to leave the house, he's got to go, do I feel like one today? I might do, I've had a bit of a dicky belly, I best get me seat. Everyone who's, who's walking past knows he's going to have a shit at some point. Today. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> do you know like how when I go into a public so toilet sick. you have to nip in with a coin and open the door? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, well you couldn't do that here because right. there's, there's no doors on the toilets. <laughs> they were filming some stuff like on this street with the black traffic and stuff. I said, I'm just nipping in here. Walked in, was greeted by two fellas squatting. <laughs> There were chefs from the place on the corner, so that's that's reassuring. Oh, no. Honest oh, to God, one of them was on the phone taking an order. It was it was really. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I could ever get used to that. You need to have your own space when doing that, and they're just there. <laughs> one's on the phone, the other one's just sort of looking round. That's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what people watching Sky are going to do with the information. Chinese people have a shit with no thought while taking an order for food. Well, he looked like he was sort of saying, I'll have it ready in, like, about five minutes. Oh, no, give me ten. <laughs> like, he, he yeah, forgot well, I'm, never, I'm never going to order a number two, I'll tell you that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Or a King Poo chicken. Ricky's loving this. Yeah, uh, I've seen the Great Wall today, It's so bad. Um, Ricky and Steve just said, get down to the bus depot. Uh, where there's loads of coaches and that, which, you know, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. I watched a video on Chinese people, like how um, mainlanders were talking about people who come from like the countryside or whatever, and how they, they have a problem with people just pooping anywhere. They keep these holes in their pants, and they just kind of pull the pants apart, poop against the edge of a wall, and then keep about their business. I like, that's wild, man. It's even a culture shock for people who are in like, the main city, and then the people who are outside, they come in and aren't used to it. So it's just a wild thing. You know what I mean? Getting on a bus full of tourists with a fella stood at the front yapping on, you know, with loads of history facts and just loads of stuff that you're never going to remember. Is he an English bus? English tour? Do you not understand? Licking Steve just said, come here. <sighs> Sorry. Hi. Sorry. Hello. Thanks a lot. Hello. Hey, what about Chang Zheng Fei Hao Han? Mao 那個索道到達好漢坡,啊,到好漢坡那呢,找一張相,啊,登上了。那個長城呢,啊,被 I was putting on a waterproof coat in case it rained. I need it just from this bus. Why did you do that? There's a wall. Oh Jesus Christ. I can't see it now anyway, so it'll be a surprise for me. <laughs> How long does it take to get there? Oh, gee, this is so good. This is so good. <laughs> oh, God! I feel like I'm at the post office on OAP day. It almost feel like they just put everybody up to, but you know they didn't. Like, all these people were hacking in the bus and stuff. Jesus, right there, he said she's a nice lady. just hacking into a bag. Oh, my God. Under the world. Uh, I wonder the world. Well, look at everyone pushing and shoving. This is it then. It was heavily restored in both the 1950s and 1980s. I didn't know that. Not even old and bricks. Either. Am I missing something here? So the old stuff's gone, hasn't it, really? And then it doesn't count. It shouldn't be a wonder, then. <laughs> you can't just build something on it and still, you know, get all the tourists in. <laughs> it's not what it says on the tin. What I'm looking at is basically is a wimpy it? home. 
you know, you can see it for miles. It goes on for miles over the hills and everything. But so does the M6. Do you know what I mean? You can see that for miles. And you go, great, and that does a job. You can drive on that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What's this all about, though? Oh, it's almost like they know that the wall isn't that good. It's like, what else can we give them? Charge them like seven quid to get in to see an old wall. Well, it's not an old wall, it's from the 1980s. <laughs> I've got a mate who's got some bears. I mean, stick them down at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting stood up. Oh, Evolution. Shit. <laughs> the driver's getting involved, chucking it food, because he's, he's not into apple, is he? I've seen what he likes eating. If that was some sort of squid with a tumour on its head, it'd be tucking into it. <laughs> He's not into fruit. To be honest, I fancy getting in there and getting a mouthful. It's the first normal food I've seen since I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> you have one. Ah, <laughs> this dude's just calling like he sees it. Jesus Christ, man. He's always done it, but this is perfect. It's unfiltered. Like, nobody's interrupting him or anything. It's just... Uh, his mind is just free to go. He's just... Telling it, telling it like it is. Hello, mate. Steve Merchant here. How are you doing? Um, I heard that you went to see the Great Wall of China today. Um, I'm sure you enjoyed it. And actually, Ricky and I want you to see more of it. Uh, in fact, we'd like you to see all of the Great Wall. Oh, no. Literally all of it. We want you to travel the entire length of the wall. So, enjoy it. They yeah. knew. They knew that was going to <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, just a bit annoyed today because, you know, I thought I'd seen the Great Wall of China, which, being honest with you, it's, it's not the Great Wall. It's, it's an all right wall. It's the all right wall of China. But, you know, I thought I'd seen it. And then Steve called it with some bright idea saying, oh, I want you to see more of it. In fact, I want you to see all of it. That's just stupid. That's the all right wall of China. I want that, sh I want that on a shirt. <laughs> having a laugh. Is this part that wasn't restored, I guess? This isn't the Great Wall, is it? You're kidding me. I mean, I like the way there's no tourists and that. But then why would they be? This is the original wall, isn't it? Or is it? I, d I don't know. Is it just badly done? <laughs> this is pretty shit, isn't it? <laughs> You're meant to be able to see it from the moon, aren't you, the Great Wall? Would you want to? <laughs> Neil Armstrong getting his binoculars out. Oh, shit! Fucking hell, have you seen it from up here, Buzz? Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fortune God. teller told me that, you know, I had to get rid of one of my sins on a mountain. So, I might as well do it whilst I'm up here. True, man. Get the puzzle out of it. Carl Grimshaw getting putty in his hair. But you know, it's worth doing, isn't it? <clears throat> it means I'm not going to have a heart attack. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I've been travelling for three days. I'm, uh, I've walked miles. And let's face it, there's only so much time <clears throat> you can look at anything. And the only reason I've, I've come to this bit of the wall is because Steve said that there's a little village close by and, you know, he knows someone who's going to sort me some dinner out. <coughs> oh, this yeah. is going to be miserable. Yeah. Yeah. You all right? <coughs> He's a big lad. Um, just, just, a, just a little, little bit, little bit of, not, not big. Oh, full. Well, they seem like nice people. I mean, I can tell that just uh, even though I can't speak their language and stuff. Got some food for me. It's nice, but it's just a bit awkward if it's something I don't like in it because I can't. You know, you can have, you can use your hands to say certain things, but what can you do if it's something I don't like? You I can't sort of make a lie up. You gotta soldier through it. What is that? <coughs> what is that? <laughs> right, forget it. <laughs> Forget it. 
<laughs> massive toads. Yeah, it's terrible, <laughs> toad, oh, I looked at the wrong time. <laughs> I didn't really want to look, but when I turned around, it looked like she was having a wrestle with one. Like, <laughs> so I'm guessing the toad wasn't winning. And I've been told it tastes like chicken, so I should just eat it and think, oh, it's chicken, it's chicken. It's just nice chicken. Why did she have to out here? Why can't she just do it inside somewhere and then I'd eat it? Tell me after. All right, yeah, I'll look in a minute. <laughs> they knew we were coming, couldn't they have just got something normal? Oh, shit. Why don't you say to him, no, look, is it all right if I bring Carl around? Cook him oh, something. Shit. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. What does he like to eat? Does he like toad? Just you, Surely, I mean, I know you don't know me that well, <laughs> but you know me enough that I've, I've never said to you, do you know what, I'd love a bit of toad. I've never said that to you. <laughs> You could have just nipped it in the bud there and then gone, oh, he's not a fan of that. I don't like it. Oh, shit. I didn't want to have a panic attack. <laughs> I didn't want to have a panic attack. Oh, my God. He's so... Oh, God. It's, it's, it's like a murder scene, look. Toad's, bit of Toad's head there. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Chicken, chicken. <laughs> just, just a little bit, because I'm not very good with these. He's better than me. Ah. That just looks like noodles. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. Lots of that. He's in it, haven't he? Oh. No, I love it. Huh? love it. Mm. Oh, just a... I'm just chewing. Mm. He's scared of shit in front. Eat it, eat it. I think the baby's choking. Eat it, eat it. Eat it. Toad was weird. Um, oh, no. What are you showing? A little bit of toad. What does the toad taste like? Like, uh, tripping. No, just tripping. This woman was forcing it to me. She was saying, oh, eat it, eat it. <laughs> oh, not fun. Every time I swallowed it, it was coming back up. It was like it was still alive and the legs were still kicking itself out of my head. <laughs> right, no more. Is this for someone local? <laughs> this lady here. It's for this lady? She looks pretty healthy. It's better to make it now because when you're young, you prepare those things. When you're old, you won't be able to organise this. Doesn't it depress you seeing this every day when you leave your house? Not the way it looks. I think it's a nice looking coffin as coffins go. But I don't want to be reminded that I'm going to die. Not every day. I'm not scared of death. I'm not worried about it. Maybe you can help me sending the coffin. Well, I mean, my flat isn't big enough to have something like this hanging around. I haven't got any outside space, so I'd have to have a parking permit for this. So I couldn't, I couldn't be doing this at home. But there's something good about it. Because as you get older, you know, she's in her 60s. It's a nice little project, isn't it? She's got an allotment. This is probably sorted out. She doesn't have to worry about that. The house is probably paid for. And you need something to do to keep <coughs> you going. If you haven't got any little projects, that's when you die. So, in a way... That's true. It's just something that when she goes to bed at night, she's got a little to-do list in her head. Oh, coffee needs to be varnished. I'll have to sort that out. Because there's not that much else around here, is there? Keep your mind busy. That's true. I know two people once they retired from when I was working at Walmart. Two different ones. And one of them actually told me it was his fear when he retired that he was going to die. He retired and he died three months later. And the other guy retired and he died like six months later. It's crazy. Like how just having a purpose will keep you alive. It's just, I think. Could just be coincidental, but you know, I've seen it twice. Yes, he's gone off now. He's having his lunch. <laughs> he left me here doing this. Oh my goodness.
this. You have one new message. Hello, car mate, Stephen here. I uh, just want to leave you a quick message. We've sorted something out for you. Um, one of the great elements of Chinese culture. Very popular, of course, in the UK in the 70s. We've arranged for you to see some Kung Fu, my friend. Kung Fu. Yeah? Enjoy it. Kung Fu? What's he Kung Fu for? <coughs> Violent, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty <coughs> impressive the way everyone's remembered the kit. It was never like this for me at school. About 25 minutes was just spent with all the kids trying to find a pair of shorts out of lost property because no one ever remembered to bring the kit. So it was more like a Trini and Susanna than a PE lesson. We'd all be sort of going, Are these your type? Do you want to wear these? I'll wear them. Just it wasn't taken seriously. The PE teacher wasn't a proper PE teacher. He did geography when he wasn't doing PE. Well, that's why we have a lot of fat kids. <laughs> Leo. That's, that's, <clears throat> that's crazy. Over here, same thing. I've never had a PE teacher that didn't do another class. Like, PE was just not taken seriously at all. Which is good for me, because I was, I was fat as shit. So, I hate a PE. How are you? I mean, I'm still fat, but... Yeah. Welcome to Shaolin. And where the original Kung Fu <coughs> coming from. And you were going to see the Kung Fu training. Oh. Yeah. This is the metal, All right. and they were going to put another throat. Even I use my finger, just have a little touch. All right. Yeah, just tell me. You don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and you will have a very big cut on yeah, this. Just tell me. Oh, yeah. What? What? It's got to hurt, though, hasn't it? <laughs> so I'll see you outside the hotel about sort of half four, quarter to five. Four a.m., OK? Four in the morning. Jesus Christ. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> Is he having a laugh? <laughs> I can't tell. They're hard to read. <laughs> right, They're good, hard to it? read. You know, I've been walking the wall for the last few days, you know, aching all over. And now he wants me to get up at four in the morning to do some kung fu. It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? He just went. Like that. Oh. Hey. Come. On. Where did he hit it? He hit it there, didn't he? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself, man? <clears throat> no. Come on, the door. Oh, for fuck's sake. You are late. In two minutes, downstairs. <coughs> what joke was he when he said he was going to come round at four? This? He was just having a, having a bit of fun with me. Nice start to the day, moon's still out. Ah. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know what power I've got. That's the thing. If I start wrestling with him, I don't know how strong I am. I might do some damage. By accident. It was like know, Avatar let us go. So I don't know how hard I can hit. I might, I might oh. really hurt him. Well, Aang from Say if I'm just a proper mugger. Yeah, I'm walking right. down the street, right? Mm. I look at you, I think I'm he's going got a this way, quid. yes. Yeah, hang on. You'll stop right, me? Hang on a minute, yeah, yeah, just get back a bit. So, so I, I'm walking down the street and mm. I think this fella looks like he's, he's got a few quid. Mm. And I'd go, I'd go, I'd go, excuse me, mate, you haven't got the time on you, have you? Listen, give us your money. Oh. Ah, all right, mm. give us your money. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. What, what happened? Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I got it the first time. <laughs> come on, Donald! <laughs> Look at that, Buster! Come on, come on! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God. He doesn't know what my health is. At no point since I've been here has he gone, no, Carl, you know, it's a serious issue. Have you got any health problems? He's always pushing a little bit more. He loves giving pain out. He's not a Buddhist, is he? He's a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> right. Right. What am I doing? Seriously, what is going on here? <laughs> OK, Carl, I'll give you a challenge. What sort of challenge? What's the other challenge? <laughs> this is glass balloon. I'm going to throw the needle from this way to get this balloon. You're going to throw a needle through the glass? Yes. Hit the balloon? Yes. Hole in glass? Yes. So you're going to... Hey, hang on a minute. Right. <laughs> One. So nervous. Two. No way. Jesus. Ah, oh, that's wicked. I'm impressed with that. You want to have a try? Here we go. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. No, <laughs> 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 oh, no! Oh, shoot! Cold blooded. <laughs> That's a good cameraman. That dude stays still. He kept getting a shot. I'm not cut out for Kung Fu. I know that much. That shouldn't hurt, should it? Just having a cup of tea. With all these aches and pains and that, you know, Ricky and Steve have sorted me out with a Chinese massage, which isn't like them, that. Get the socks off. That's how it starts, isn't it? They are torturing this dude. It is hilarious. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they know exactly what to do. Oh, my God. You are having a laugh. Come on, now. back here. Oh, oh shit! Right, that's that's hot now. That's mental. <laughs> right, that's hot. That's hot. Fucking hell! What is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> I've seen massages on the telly. You don't normally have to have a fire extinguisher on standby <laughs> and fucking massage. What is this doing? Oh shit! But what, why? Tell me why though. Why is this traditional Chinese massage? <laughs> no, it doesn't relax me. So what does it do? Why is it setting fire to me? What good is it doing me? Don't just stand there saying it's traditional. It's traditional is what they do here. It's a delicacy. What is she doing? Why have gloves on fire ever been associated with having a massage? Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. I've been walked in there. Ah. I've been greeted by Edward Scissorhands. Oh, right, she's going to Cut it out. Come sit out, please. It's not a good sort of combination, that, really. Oh, she's going to do it. I've been done like that. I'm a woman who can't understand me. This leg's fine, tell her. This leg is is great. <laughs> I just want this one doing, then we can go. Uh, oh, maybe she's just a, a frustrated magician. <laughs> Didn't get the magic. Ends up doing back and just come up with an idea with having gloves that are on fire. Oh my god! I I screamed my head off, didn't I? Because it was, and I'm not messing either for the cameras, because I don't really do that. It really hurt. <laughs> what was that bleeping sound? Fire alarm. <laughs> well, I've travelled miles, haven't I? Oh, shit. And this is the end of it, is it? I thought. I mean, I thought you meant to save the best to last, <laughs> but what is this? Bloody oh, hell! Ricky. Uh, you know they picked that one for more purpose. Oh God. Well, that's where it ends, isn't it? I mean, I haven't got another message from Steve saying, right, get your snorkel out. We still haven't seen it all. And this definitely isn't you, is it? They've still got Andy Andy working on it, the sounds of things. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a wonder of the world. Just this bit. I liked it up on the hills where nobody was, but you've got a fella down there selling hot dogs. They've built a bit of a conservatory on it over there. Bloke flogging photographs. And them lot banging. Stop. I don't get it though. How come? I mean, that's this isn't protecting anything, is it? Because if the enemy was coming down there, come across there, buy hot dog, and then they want to get over it, 
Well, you've got to take your shoes and socks off. It's not even that deep there. You can just wander around it. So what is it protecting? <laughs> it's my last sin that I've got to get rid of. There's an old Chinese proverb by this Mao fella <coughs> that says, a toad in a well only gets to see some of the sky. And if the toad came up, he'd see more of the world. Which, you know, is a bit like <coughs> me in a way. I've, I've seen more of the world just from doing this. I don't know if it's made me a better person or not. But he's saying it is, he's saying, if you get out of the well and see the bigger picture, it's good for you, but I'd say it isn't. <laughs> and the thing is, it's not even worth getting out and seeing more sky here because of all the pollution. <laughs> and definitely if you're a toad, I won't get out of any old way because they'll <laughs> grab you and cut your head off and eat you. So, this is great, man. The Ricky Gervais show is fantastic. But this is a different type of fantastic. And mostly because you get that, like, you really get Carl, like, unfiltered. He's just saying, like, without being, like, over talking over and all that kind of jazz. Which they all add their own spice to them on the show. That's why it's, like, a completely different element. But actually getting over, being able to get full Carl is just a treat, man. Jesus Christ, what a treat. Um... Uh, I enjoyed this immensely. Oh, man. When he took a glance over and then let him have the bag of toes, he just lost it. <laughs> like, what? Man. It's like they do exactly what they do to push this dude's buttons. So they arranged the whole trip to freaking do it. And, man. This dude is so freaking funny. <laughs> The All Right Wall of China. Man, I want that on a t-shirt. He called the Great Wall of China the All Right Wall of China. That was so good. That was... Uh, there's just so many quotable things that he says, man. This is... Uh, I have a headache laughing at this guy. Man, I know people in the comments say you gotta drink more water. I drink a lot of water. This is just so... F I've been drinking a lot of water now. And I actually... I forgot who the first person told me that when I was, I always get headaches when I laugh. He said, you got to drink a lot more water. And I always drink a lot, but like now I drink a, at least a gallon and a half a day. That's why I, every so often you see a little green jug in here. I always polish that off in another half before the day's out. And it really, really helps the headaches. But something is so funny, my laugh just takes over. And it just like feels like it just sends blood to, the, to my head. This was super good, man. This guy, Jesus, you can just tell like he's just... Every part of his body was screaming, like, I'm out of my comfort zone. I'm out of my comfort zone. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. And I loved every second of it. This was so fantastic, man. I really don't know what else to say about this. That Just that it was, I can't wa wait to watch the next episode. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to be doing a Ricky Gervais today as well. And I'm going to see how I feel after like doing two of them. I'm not sure if I can handle two of these in one day, man. Because they're both so funny. I think I'm going to have, like, a splitted headache before I, um, I'm done with it. But this was, oh my God, uh, I give one of those. This is so good. This guy's, uh, what a gem. What a gem. I'm, <clears throat> I've been telling my brother about him and how funny this guy is. So I'm hoping like um, he can check out one of these with me. Hopefully he enjoys Carl as much as I enjoy Carl. Hopefully this doesn't get like blocked. Maybe I have to split it in two pieces. We'll see. But this was just, this is so good. I don't know what else to say about but this was so funny. This guy is just, man. He just, uh, oh my God. <laughs> ah, they knew exactly what to do. This is just fantastic. Thank you guys so much for bringing Carl into my life. I appreciate it. Please continue to comments below, guys, on what you want me to check out next. Um, I'm loving this. I cannot wait to check out every single episode. Like I said, I really hope this doesn't get blocked because I really enjoyed this and I really do want to keep watching these. But if it does get blocked, I'll find some way to get it 
correct it or something. We'll see what I have to do. Um, maybe I have to fade it out kind of like other people have done and stuff. But this is just all around goodness. I loved it. I loved it a lot. So thanks, guys, so much. And thank you for being so patient for waiting around for me to get to this. I really do appreciate you guys being so patient waiting for me to get to this. Hopefully, I'm leaning back this far. Hopefully, I wasn't too far from the mic where you didn't hear me. Um, guys, that's all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And um, I'll see you in the next one later.